WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Motivation Monday, where I give you the motivation to get through your Monday. I hope everyone had a, a great week last week, and I hope you're having a great week last week, or this week. And if you're not, you know the drill by now. Don't worry. Be happy. Last week, I had special guest Les Jenkins and Noah Henderson in the studio with me, and I am so glad. That was such a great episode. Everyone loved it. I'm glad. I really hope it made everyone aware of mental health. I know it was a little lengthy, but... It was a really great episode, and we did that in two takes. Uh, The first take, I messed up. (laughs) The girl that's been doing this for, like, what, six months now? If it's really been six months, I'm going to lose my mind. But the girl that's been doing this for almost six months now, compared to the two guys that have not stepped in the studio before, and they killed it. They literally killed it. Me, on the other hand, messed up my intro. My intro that I say every day somehow messed it up. (laughs) <laughs> it's all good. It was great. It was a good laugh, and I'm so glad they were in the studio with me. Um, this week, we're going to be talking about judgment. So this is going to be the fifth episode of our Be Aware series, which, like I said, I don't know how long it's going to go on for. Uh, let's see if we can remember how many like we've had. So first episode was attitude. Second was gratitude. Third was love and heartbreak. Fourth was mental health, and fifth is judgment. So, so far, so great, everyone. We're doing wonderful. So, we're going to hit on judgment because it's an important thing that I think we all do. And don't lie, I know you go into Planet Fitness and judge people when it's a judgment-free zone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We all judge. Sometimes we don't mean to. Sometimes we do. It, it, it happens, okay? But we need to be aware of it, and we need to make sure that we're not doing it on purpose, you know, don't judge someone. Don't judge a book based on its cover. <laughs> so we're going to dive in headfirst with quotes. I have two because I could not decide on one. So we're going to hit them both. One's really short. That's kind of why I did two. But here we go. Judging a person does not define who they are. It defines who you are. So don't judge, okay? You hear me? <laughs> Coming from Motivation Monday. Don't judge people, Okay. Okay, on to quote two. Before you call someone lazy or judge them, try to imagine their perspective, beliefs, and abilities and forget yours. That is, respond with curiosity and empathy. When you do, I predict you'll find yourself understanding their choices. You may not like their beliefs and choices, but you'll understand them. Which is really great. I mean, you never know what someone is going through. We talked about that last week on Mental Health Monday. You don't know what people are going through. Someone could have a mental health issue. And you, who are you to say, like, I don't know. Who are you to say that they can't be who they want to be? Okay? Be yourself. Don't fear judgment. Okay? Trust me, I have been down this road. I used to hate crop tops like if i couldn't show my stomach at all even if i raised my arms up my stomach showed oh it was not good not because i was raised in a strict house but because i didn't want to i don't know i didn't want to get off the wrong vibe (laughs) but you know now that i've gotten more comfortable with myself and even if people do judge me i don't care because i'm happy i'm living my best life They can live their best life judging me, but I mean, when I'm old, I'm going to look back and think, I didn't live in fear of other people's judgment. So this episode is kind of of not judging, and if you are being judged, you get over it, not get over it, but like, push through it. (laughs) Sorry, this is unscripted. Can you tell? (laughs) So, you know, yeah. So we have a story today. It's a short story. It's called The Old Man's Horse. So... It looks to be a little, I don't, I read it, I read it already, but like, I, I have short-term memory loss, so it gets a little hectic sometimes. So, let's dive straight in. Once there was a poor old man who used to live in a village. He was poor, yet even kings were jealous of him because he owned a beautiful white horse. 
He was offered fabulous prices and money to sell that horse. The old man would refuse, saying, This is not just a horse to me. He is a person and a friend. Can you sell a person or a friend? No, it's not possible. One day in the morning when he went to the stables, he saw that the horse was not there. News spread in the village and a whole village ga- and the whole village gathered at his house. They said, "You are a foolish old man. Everyone wanted that horse. Everyone knew that someday it would be stolen. You could have sold that horse for any price, but yet you kept it. Now the horse is gone. What misfortune." Old man replied, "Fact is that horse is not in stable. Everything else you say is judgment." How do you know whether it's a misfortune or not? People replied, Don't fool us. A treasure has been lost. It's a misfortune. Old man replied, I just know that stable is empty and anything else I don't know. What? I just know that stable is empty and anything else I don't know because this is just a fragment. Who knows what's going to follow? People laughed at him and left. They said that he was crazy. He could have sold that horse and live a better life rather than living in misery and poverty. Now, even that the horse is stolen, he has lost all hope of getting wealthy. After a few days, the horse came back from the wilderness, and with him came more horses of the same breed. Aww. People around the village gathered again and said, Old man, you were right. We are sorry for our judgment. You were right. It wasn't a misfortune, but a blessing. Now you have more beautiful horses. You can train them and sell them to earn money. Old man replied, Again, you are going too far. Just say that the horse... So I'm not in the studio, by the way. We'll go back to the story. I'm not in the studio. I'm I'm in Lake Cliff's backyard. (laughs) Anyway, old man replied, Again, you are going too far. Just say that the horse is back and say that it's a blessing to have more horses. But don't judge. Who knows whether it is a blessing or not? It is only a fragment. It will pass too. This time, people kept silent. Old man's only son started to train horses. Just a few days later, while training one of those wild horses, old man's son fell from the horse and his legs were broken. Hearing this news, people gathered and said, You were right. Having more horses isn't a blessing. Now your only son is injured because of this. In this old age, what will you do with your crippled son? Old man replied, Don't go that far. Say only that my son has broken his legs. Who knows whether this is a misfortune or a blessing? Nobody knows. Again, a fragment. Life comes in fragments and judgment is about the total. One month later, all the young ones of the village were forced to join the military as a war broke out. All the people in the village were crying. People came to the old man and said, Our sons are gone forever. Injury to your son proved to be a blessing. At least now he is alive living with you. Old man replied, Nobody knows. (laughs) Only say that our sons have been forced to enter into the army and your son has not been forced, but no one knows whether it is a blessing or a misfortune. Nobody will ever be able to know it. Only God knows. Moral of the story is, similar is our life. Whenever something bad happens with the, what? Whenever something bad happens, just that fragment, we come to conclusion that we will never, ever be okay. You know, I really don't like their moral story. I'm going to do my own moral story. Moral story is things come in fragments. You don't know if it's a blessing or a lesson. I say this a lot. Some things in life are a lesson. Some things are a blessing. You don't know whether it's a blessing or a lesson. (laughs) It's been a day. It's been a day. (laughs) So take it as you should. We should not judge any situation just by with what we see. We never know what's going to come next. So everyone, keep that in mind with when you're going on your days, like, Say that you're at the grocery store and there's someone there and they're really slow at the cash. Like they're working the cashier and they're really slow. Why are you judging them? First off, you never know. It could be their first day. They could be having a hard time. They could be having a bad day. They could have mental health issues. The list goes on and on. If I say all of them, we'll be here forever. But you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. We good. We good. All right. So... We've done attitude, gratitude, love and heartbreak, um, mental health, and judgment. Judgment. Yeah, judgment. So 
Let me know if you have any more be aware ideas. I have like a few more, but you know, the series is going to have to come to a close at some point. But there's lessons that we can learn from all of them. So if you need a lesson, just let me know. I can get more special guests. Did y'all like the special guests? I love the special guests. That was a lot of fun. It was a little stressful because I don't talk in front of people, but it was a lot of fun. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to start wrapping it up and hit uh, hit you with today's song. So um, we have two songs today because I, once again, could not decide. So we're going to have Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi and Humble and Kind. I don't remember who it's by. I just wrote down Humble and Kind. But you know what song I'm talking about? I think it. I don't remember. I don't want to say the wrong artist. But, you know. Humble and kind, go listen to it. It's really nice. It's kind of slow. That's why I put living on a prayer because it's really, really upbeat. Because we're all living on a prayer, honestly. We're, we're, we're living every day as it comes. No one has predicted the future. No one, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I know I got to work. <laughs> That's it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to be said other than go follow us on social media at Facebook, Motivation Monday Podcast, and go follow us on Instagram at motivation underscore Monday dot UA. If you're not following us, please do because, you know, that's where I post a lot of our stuff. So check it out, will you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be Katie signing off. For- oh, I forgot to give you a challenge. <sighs> I challenge you to not judge it. I I challenge you to never judge anyone ever again. Even if it's by accident. If you judge yourself, give you like slap on the wrist. Nope. (laughs) You know, just, just don't do it. Don't judge. You never know. You never know. Okay. You're not dumb. So quit trying to be dumb. Okay. Real quick. I just wanted to say a happy belated birthday to my mom today. Yesterday was her birthday. So happy belated birthday, mom. Um, Thank you for arriving at home every time I record Motivation Monday. Love you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Katie signing off from this week's Motivation Monday. Have a great week, a very motivated Monday, and please don't forget, stay motivated. I'll catch you all next week. WVUA-FM, Tuscaloosa.